generally when you're trying to design an elevator, it's a lot easier. If you're doing a small one, you're kind of limited to where you can put the pistons. But if you're doing a bigger one, you kind of want to say, I want to design an elevator that's shaped like this. And so then you say, okay, well, where should my pistons go? Well, you're going to have to have one underneath each one. So you can put them in a lot of places, but you're going to be limited in what you can do. Let's actually make this as a design. It's going to be the, I'm going to call this the T elevator. But what I would do if I were to build an elevator from scratch is I would come and put something like this down and say, all right, that's what we want. Now, how are we going to power those? So we can come in and put an observer here and here. And that will give us at least our basic functionality. Come on. There we go. So now when we move this up and down, it's going to uh, push those up and down. And so if I were to go, boop, it'll push those up. And it'll continue to go up until it goes down. Um, a very important tip that I don't always share is that it's very difficult to fix and debug things if you've got the top on. So generally you want to wait to put the top on as long as you possibly can. Um, to the point that when you're actually building the top, and I think I did this in some videos, it's often a smart idea to look at where your elevator is going to be and get some obsidian. You're going to take that obsidian and you're going to place it across the top like this just to hold it down. And if you didn't put the top on, it's not going to be stopped by the by these blocks that are supposed to stick out. So you'd have to put something in as a obsidian top to keep it from going too far while you're working on it. But once you get it perfect and you know your count's right, then you should be totally cool to put that in. So let's go ahead and try and finish a build here and see if we can in invent, as it were, our own elevator. Now, what's wrong with this? Do you see a problem? Let me show you. So there's a problem here. If you don't see it, you'll see it in a second. Let's take a button and let's push these up. And I'm actually going to break this real quick so that you can see it. We don't want to pull that down. So if this tries to go up and down, oh, it doesn't actually do it. Normally, I think the pistons on top are preventing it from being a problem. But you will get some weird behavior. You are going to get something weird going on. And so you don't want to put that right here. Are there other blocks in the top other than obsidian? Yes. So tile entities. A tile entity is anything that can carry in carry an item. Um, the way vanilla Minecraft was originally coded, or Java Minecraft, I mean, um, this isn't necessarily true in Bedrock, but you can't push and pull these. So a block that has an inventory, like a chest, generally acts as obsidian too. And so you can actually come in and go push, and it will not push because these are. So one of the things that people used to do back before we had glazed terracotta is they would go and they put um, your elevator shafts. You'll see YouTube videos full of these to this day from the old days. But they'll have like the back of their, the interior of their elevator will look like this because they've spent a bunch of um, resources. And they did this back as early as before uh, droppers were even added. Um, I can remember. So people used to have, this was their flush interior. They didn't want to collect some obsidian, and they wanted gray instead of black. And so you can use these to stop blocks and to act as obsidian. Other blocks that work, chests work. Obviously ender chests, which are really interesting for being smaller. You can kind of see around them a little bit more. They give cracks you can peer through. Um, you'd be surprised. There are tools for that. Being smaller also changes the way items drifting in water hit them when they change direction. So they're really popular as a redstone component for moving items around. There's a lot of weird esoterica in redstone, and item movement is some of the weirdest, where it's like, I want it to move this many pixels, and so I'm going to have water that flows this way. I'm going to have a cake that has two pieces eaten, and it's it's hilarious. Oh, I love it. And it'll be skating on ice so that it doesn't stop when it hits the cake, and it's just, yeah. So that's something you can do if you don't want to use obsidian. Um, just use... Um, the cheapest is probably going to be uh, droppers because they don't require bows. Um, if you were to use a uh, dispenser, you're going to have a bow for each one, and that can get really costly. But being... This just takes seven cobblestone and, and one redstone, and so they're pretty cheap to mass produce. So if you don't want to go out and farm a whole bunch of obsidian, 
just use some droppers. They'll do the same job. I just don't care for how they look. I consider them functional, and so I don't, I don't bother with them. So right here, we're going to finish this because I want to finish it. We're going to put a block here, just like we are normally normally building an elevator. And we're going to put one here. And what I want to do is I want to stop that connection from happening. And so what we're going to do is we are going to put a block in the way so that it's segregated. So now we have this one and this one. And so that should, in theory, work. And so that should give us what we need. Let me get this out of the way. We're having fun down here. And watch this. Please work. I hate being wrong and looking dumb. Oh, we didn't put our observers on. Ha 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 ha. And we didn't put obsidian down there, so it's going to pull those blocks up too. That's okay. So let's put our... Uh... Now, you got to be careful because they can be butted. Um, I would honestly prefer to do it like this. And so I think... I think we can do it like that. R remember, how many blocks do we have? We have these four, so we have eight total we can put on. So if I were to put four on like this, I could put two pistons like this, and I could put an observer on either side if I wanted, and that would be seven and eight. So those are eight blocks total, so we're just at the edge. Um, all right, let's see. So now if we were to go up, hello. I'll answer questions in this chat, but there's such a delay, it's going to be hard to kind of wait. Um, even if I answered the moment you typed, it's going to be like 15 seconds. And so I'm going to keep an eye on it, but uh, we're kind of... Our fun is ruined because of that. I think this should stop when we go up there. Let's find out. So like I said, I forgot to put obsidian in. And so now there's too many blocks to push, and so ultimately we could make this our top. So let's say we wanted to put something around it. I don't know. Let's, we had pink glazed terracotta right here. So if we wanted to have a funny shaped elevator, we could do that. And um, I'm an idiot because no, actually, you would need to do like that. And so we have the remember we have the six, and so we're gonna have twelve blocks total. And so if, let's pick any meeny miny mo hay bales because why not? Who doesn't like pale yellow sand. Um, so now it should come down. Uh, watch this. Bump, bump, bump. And now we can... What we would do if we were trying to finish this elevator is we'd have a button that comes over here and we would just reach under and have a piston just push. Um, let's do that, actually. And so we can just say hello like this. And so now, if I have a button, I can go, hi, and see, now we've got our elevator. It's flush. Um, so you want to have a block that you can't pull here. You can have any block you want up here. I always forget that about the top. That's an important thing to know, because you can do anything you want. Because what we're going to do is we're going to stop it. See, it's the blocks that touch the slime that you have to be careful about. So now we just need to have two blocks that stop it. So because we've got exactly 12 blocks here, we could put literally anything right here. And those are going to be our blocks that stop it. If you want to be more discreet and having it flush, what you want to do is you want to find a block that looks the same as your obsidian or your tile block. If we we're using um, droppers, we could use stone. But let's search for a pink block that looks the same. Let's do some pink wool. So now what's going to happen is it's going to get caught on those right here, and it'll stop. So let's do that. Let's go up. So we need to have our two stage. And so this is actually important. We have to touch these at the same exact time. The reason is if we do that, it's going to get stuck. You see how it can't pull that down now? Because they came up at different times, and so now these are grabbing onto those. Now, I've had a little bit of experience, so I can tell you that you can still push the ones that are not pushed up. Let's do this, though. Let's put our pistons 
well, let's, it's ready to, it's primed to go upward, so let's go ahead and make it go upward. And then after that, we're going to bring it back down, and we will set this up. And so now we have an elevator we just made up. I'm inventing this as we go. This wasn't planned for the stream, and so I just want you guys to know that anybody can do these elevators. See how that stopped perfectly? It's because it grabbed on right here. And so what we've got to do is when we're going to, when we're going to, blah, blah, when we want to go down, we're going to take some sticky pistons, and we're going to pull on those. And so let's pull on them. Like so. And that's going to pull away. And we want to have these powered until they're not. And so, easiest way to do this, honestly, targets because it makes your redstone point into the block. And you want to invert it so that it's already using a redstone torch. So now what we can do is we can simultaneously say, hey, this is already going to connect, see? And we're just going to go push and say we want it to go down. So what we will do is we will go, give me a piston. And this is why it's actually much easier if you have this up against the edge of your elevator. If you don't, you're going to have some trouble, but it's much easier like this. So now what we can do is we can go like that. And when this fires, it's going to pull those back. And what we'll do is we will pull that back and then let's go ahead and just connect it this way. It's easier that way, you know, honestly. So we kind of want to wait a second, but you don't have to wait very long. I bet you don't have to wait hardly at all. Yep, it's working. And so it moves those out of the way so that it can go down. So that now the, the top's literally done. That's all there is to it. And so instead of putting a button here, you could just run redstone dust up to where your, to your favorite button location. You could put one up here. I'm obviously that's normally where you put it is by your elevator. You want to be standing on your elevator when you push the button. But I don't want to spend too much time doing this, I'm trying to keep things interesting. I'm new to streaming, and so it's very easy to get boring. And if you want to be a good streamer, you do stuff people want to see. Don't blather and act like you're self-important. So. Let's talk about the bottom. So remember I said we have to do things in phases? That's where it gets really yucky. And this is going to be a fairly easy one, but you literally just have to wait three ticks for it to push. And so what we're going to do, by the way, side note, you see how I can tell that this is a slime block? Mystic kind of smells. <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> You've seen that, you know that SpongeBob episode. Um, so, Side note, uh, the Hermit Crafters have a uh, resource pack. Um, I forget what it's called. I just know Zazuma is closely related to it. Um, there's a pack that I talk about that I'm a big fan of that adds small enhancements, like these lighting up and the faces moving when you put things on them. But uh, it, the key thing is these... Uh, oh, my audio is breaking. The key thing is that you can see sticky pistons from the side. I cannot emphasize enough when you're learning redstone how nice it is to be able to tell two pistons apart from the side. Oh my gosh, I don't know how people live without that. Um, I can't I can't go back after it. It was always a pain in my earlier days of Minecraft. I'm like, is that a sticky piston or a piston? I can't remember. And getting it wrong when you're learning to build stuff is the worst. Or when someone's doing a tutorial on YouTube and you can't tell which one it is. Like, oh, come on. So anyway, so anyway, you want to wait three ticks. Three ticks is the trick. So what we're going to do is we're going to rig this up so that, and you can actually put stuff underneath here really close because the elevator's never going to come down here. If you're on the bottom, you can do whatever you want. So you can be guilt-free about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pistons and I'm going to put some blocks right here, like this. And we're just going to trigger them, wait three ticks, and then we're going to go. And so what we'll do is we'll set a three tick delay between there and we're going to hit the bottom one. And so right now, because it's down, nothing will happen because it's jammed. And you can use that to your advantage. See, I can touch it and it's not going to go anywhere because there's a three tick. Or because there's more than 12 blocks that it's trying to push. Ooh, you can tell I'm getting a little sleepy and dry-throated. My voice is breaking up. All right. So, like that. Da, 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 da. So now watch this. That should be it. You generally want to count and make sure you're not getting close to your 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But with practice, you can kind of 
ballpark it. You know if you're hitting 13, 14, you're like, I need to make sure that's going to reach all the way. Plus, if you're in the middle, you don't have to worry. So it's half the distance. And so if I were trying to power the whole thing from here, would it work? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That would work. But if I were to put it here, then it's going to go 1, 2, 3. And then it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And so you might have noticed on some of my digger builds, I don't know how much I talked about this at the time doing them. That's why we're doing this in the middle is because it cuts the distance in half, so you don't have to put a bunch of repeaters. Because if I were to put the power here, we'd need to put like two or three repeaters here, because we're going to need a repeater here, and we're going to need a repeater here, and we're gonna need, and it gets worse the bigger you get. But uh, that's something to know. So let's go ahead and test it. Oh, look at that. We just invented an elevator in front of people live, and we'll pretend there were no problems whatsoever. Um, when you're testing, fun fact, because this is all you got to do, instead of using that observer, you can just only I forgot to disconnect it. So you could put a lever here that disconnects it permanently when you're testing. This is a... Uh, I try not to blab on in videos, which is why... Because my retention isn't all that great on some of them. But uh, that's a thing you can do. So you can kind of force this to be in a different state. And so that gives you the ability to uh, hold these open. Uh, that might be a problem, though. Let's be careful. What did I do? I did a bad thing. I did a bad thing. Don't know what I did, but it's going to be okay. Um, you generally don't meddle with your redstone when your elevator's arriving. Um, yeah, that that could have consequences. There could be uh, there could be ramifications. Um, that's kind of what happened. There's not an explanation for it. It just the timing was perfect, and sometimes it just stops like that. But sometimes you end up causing a train wreck. You see how that got stuck because we were pulling this back? See, now I would have to fix the whole thing. Isn't that ugly? And so this is why you want to be very careful when you're actually testing these, whether these are on or off. So I'm actually going to leave these off, and we're just going to go back down again. So it was grabbing onto those blocks, and now it's not grabbing onto anything. So it could go up too. So make sure you don't hit the wrong one. Hit this one. We're going to wave goodbye to it. In fact, you know what? It's funny. Let's do it. Um... If I were to push this one up and then push this one up. And I did this on a few of mine earlier on, but uh, it's actually, I did some I, thumbnails where I wanted to have the, the elevator standalone. And so you can actually just go, bye forever. And we could go up there and get it and stop it, but like that's just gonna go, bye.